Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, we're in Philippians 3, verses 8 and 9 today is uh, the text we're looking at. Hey, do you enjoy throwing things away? Uh, My oldest daughter is a minimalist, and she loves to throw things away. I mean, she'll purge uh, closets, garages, her kids' rooms. Uh, you know, she was like, okay, which toys do you want? Which toys am I giving away? And, and she's that kind of person. Now, I don't love throwing things away. I'm not a minimalist. But when we moved a couple of years ago, I did suggest to Merelda that we just get a, a dumpster and throw the garage away. And uh, she vetoed that, but uh, I, I tried. So Paul, in today's passage, says everything is trash compared to knowing Jesus. Uh, Philippians 3, verse 8, he says, Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in Christ, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith. Now, he is telling us that we're saved by faith. I hope you caught that. And it's our faith in Jesus that gives us life eternal. But um, Paul says, look, I don't care about my education. I don't care about my position. I don't care about my status. I don't care about my popularity. I don't care about my wealth. I don't care about anything. All of it is worthless compared to the surpassing value of knowing and serving Jesus. I, I mean, he's absolute about that. So let me ask you this. Do you love or value anything as much as Jesus? Now, you and I both know the church answer to that is no, absolutely not. But in real life, uh, do you love or value anything as much as Jesus? Uh, See, to Paul, that's idolatry. He'd just say, get rid of it. It's in the way of your relationship with Jesus. Now, Jesus himself said, unless you love me more than father or mother or wife or kids or siblings, you're not worthy of me. And that's pretty absolute. Jesus said, unless you love me more than everybody else, you're not worthy of me. So uh, both Paul and Jesus are saying, hey, if the choice is Jesus or anything else, choose Jesus. If the choice is Jesus or everything else, still choose Jesus. Today, I choose Jesus, and I'm praying that you do too. Hope that blesses you. Have a great day.